last week I realized what a computer geek I was. So last Monday I was working on the computer and it just froze up. Well, I just rebooted, that's no big deal. But then it froze up again and I knew that was a big deal. So eventually I had to erase my hard drive, reformat it, reload it, and after a wasted day of doing that, I was finally up and running again. However, the following day it froze again and this time I couldn't fix it. The disk was irreparably damaged. So I actually had to take it to a computer repair shop. But after they assessed it, they told me that they could fix it, but I'd have to leave it with them. I'd have to leave it with them. Well, I started to get sweaty. My pulse went up. I started to breathe quickly. I started to go into acute computer withdrawal. I mean, what was I going to do with myself? I couldn't do email. I couldn't even get to my calendars. I couldn't work on any of my projects. I couldn't even do accounting. I felt cut off from the world. My whole life was on that machine. I spend more time with that machine than I do with Kathy. So all I could do while I was waiting for the computer to come back was to read a book, ink on paper. That was so last century. And it was a very long wait. But when we were finally reunited, peace and stability came back into my life. And fortunately I had a backup, so it didn't take me too long to get, get uh, back up and running. You see, you can't really trust these machines. You always have to have a backup. But through this wrenching separation, I learned something about myself. I had developed a dependency. You see, I was dependent on that machine to run my life. Everything I did was on it. And without it, my life seemed so empty. You see, humans are very prone to dependencies. See, we're always looking for something or someone who will make us happy or meet our emotional needs. And it seems to quickly develop as soon as we find something that helps even just a little bit, then we're hooked. We become dependent on them. And it could be possessions like cars or toys or vacations. And geeks, of course, depend on electronics. But usually we depend on other people. And we spend lots of time and money on whatever or whomever seems to be helping to meet our needs. But there is a fatal flaw in our dependencies. They will always let us down sooner or later. Humans fail and toys break. Hard drives crash. And there's only one safe person that you can be dependent on. And that's Jesus. He's the only one who can help you in every area of your life, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, or financial. And he actually enjoys doing it. He even likes to hang out with you. And he's promised never to let you down. You won't ever need a backup. So how much are you investing in your relationship with Jesus? He's standing right beside you right now, waiting to help you. Will you let him? To live a transformed life, you need to invest in your relationship with Jesus and let him look after you. So now I want to hear from you. How has God come through for you when others had let you down? Just leave your comments in the box below. And if this is your first visit here, then you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form right there. And I'll talk to you again next week.